Well, we are live on YouTube and Facebook. Is your humble servant, spiritualist master Muropo Ikatapena. I want us to have a conversation here. This kind of topic we'll be discussing different of them, various of them. In this particular show, you are allowed to send your questions. It's the kind of things that we, we do in groups. But now, we are coming live. You are allowed to ask questions. You are allowed to bring yours forward. So like today's topic is why everyone now has been told they have a gift, they have a calling, they need spiritual initiation. What is happening around society? Is everyone is going to be a spiritualist, a teacher, a prophet, a ila or a sangoma? I want us to discuss about this. You are allowed to comment, to ask questions. I believe live chat are live day. Let us have a conversation. Let us talk. Let us have a discussion. Everyone now has been told they have a gift. And it's creating a very huge confusion in the mind of many people. So the question is, are you really gifted? Are you truly called to the ministry? And why now you've been told by different people, now it's creating a confusion because you define your spirituality in a certain manner, but now you have been told you need to do things differently. So we need first to start by understanding the concept of spirituality. What is being spiritual? How do you realize that you become spiritual? I'm going to advise that you have time to check on my post, I think, two days ago. I have post the 10 major points that can put a person in a position to define themselves as spiritually or spiritualist. So the first thing, you need to identify that. And you need to know the difference between a gifted person and a non, a, a cold person. A gifted person is like a nurse in the hospital. A person with a calling is like a GP in the hospital. And then we progress when people are growing up in their specific uh, calling and they upgrade as well, depend on the knowledge they're getting. So we mustn't make confusion between a gifted person and a person called to the ministry. I hope I'm making myself understood. A gifted person does not necessarily need to go and to answer does not necessarily go to go through a specific initiation. They need an activation of their gift, an anointing of their gift, an enlightenment of their gift. Instead of a cold person, someone with a calling to work full time in the ministry of spirituality, that particular person need and must go through an initiation process. So now, where's this confusion come? Spiritualism and its spirituality have been criticized, stigmatized, suppressed for many, many, many decades. 
influence century, especially in the motherland. So that exactly a broad spiritualist into Eden. And when people start acquiring independence in the motherland, the local authority were now opening up to spiritualism. But religion have already brainwashed many generations to the point where being a spiritualist was synonymous to being an evil person, to being a lost. It needed more time in order for us to arrive at this level of understanding today. Because the sons and daughters of the motherland have now acquire the human maturity and spiritual knowledge, partially thank as well to religion, because the gap that were formed in various religions have led some of our generation to look as well and ask questions. So the difference needs to be set between the person who got a gift and the person who is called to work. You find out today there are people who don't find themselves, they are Sangoma, they are Ila, which they don't understand what they need to do. And they can't even solve their own problems, they can't even help other people. Yes. It's very true, they can't. And it's not their fault. They have been misled. Yes, it's very true. They have been misled. And you go, you twice, you do everything, you come back, you can't connect in a manner which somebody with the calling can connect. I've met a lot of people. I'm working with a lot of young initiated. And the main thing I realized, the majority of them, they can't connect to the spirit. And in the manner in which they are working, is like is a uniform way. Every ancestors are coming in the same way to do the same thing, which is the wrong thing. So as you're watching this with me now, as you're listening with me now, be careful. Watch out. You may be misled by people who may give you know they can mislead you. Maybe that's why your things are blocked. Now they start blaming your sister. They're going to blame your sister for what? I'm going to say it. I'm going to always repeat it. Your ancestors are not calling you to this ministry in order for you to suffer. Anybody who is telling you that your ancestors are busy punishing you because of this, because of that, they are lying to you, they are misleading, to, they are misleading you because they got limited knowledge. Your ancestors are part of you. They cannot be punishing you in the way you are suffering. It is your ignorance which led you to this level of suffering. Are you with me? So it's about time we wake up. It's about time we come and talk about this subject. It's about time we open up. We discuss it as committed followers, leaders, teachers. We need to be able to look ourselves in our eyes and ask questions. We mustn't allow what we are blaming today in established religion to come and dwell in us. Our work was tarnished by every kind of thing. Every criminal, every virtuous, and spiritualist to deceive other people. Every religious leaders have labeled us as so-called the children of Satan or demons. Our old forefathers and ancestors have been labeled as evil spirit. Today, the revolution of the chemistic fire is here. Today, the committee girls have arisen and awakened. 
the spirit of their children. The revolution, the spiritual awakening is happening. If you like to join us, please like, subscribe to our channel. You are welcome to send us your questions. You are welcome to come with your suggestions. You are welcome to send us your video with answers or teaching as well, which we are we're gonna post in this analysis. You are welcome to visit us so that we can, we can sit down and have that kind of conversations. We are not limiting ourselves to a limited line of thinking. We are open-minded men and women whom, upon whom the light has shined and that the spirit of our forefathers are leading us. So you are welcome to join us. Regardless of your belief, I'm not saying no religious people need to come. I'm not saying there's no spirituality in religion. We're going to have time to analyze that. This platform is for everyone. Ozai, Buye, you are welcome. For those who want to contact me, you can still contact me on WhatsApp at plus eight, uh, 27 81 729 plus 27, 81, 729, 88, double five. Most of you contact me on WhatsApp or you can still email us at ancientspiritualism at gmail.com. You can check, still check our page on Facebook, Ancient Spiritualism House. And please share, subscribe, like, comment, give us your suggestions. You are welcome to speak any language that you can speak that the audience we can listen to. And you are welcome to come and provide us with your guidance. We are not claiming the monopoly of the knowledge, but we are sharing what we are. This is our first show that we are making it a bit shorter. So be blessed and may the divine grace be upon you. Is once again your humble servant, Molopwe Katapena Kyungu spiritualist master. Amen.